After two missing child cases this week where officials deemed both kids suicidal, experts say talking to your kids about mental health is important as ever. Good evening, I'm Allie Peters. Now we do want to warn you this story does address suicide and could be difficult for some. Let's go out to News 9 Sarah McGrew who is live in Marathon County with more. Sarah. Yeah, Ali, for some parents, having that conversation may be daunting, but experts say simply just checking in with your kids can go a long way. Kids oftentimes don't just come right out and tell you that they are struggling. So it's important that parents are proactive in talking about mental health with their kids. I always tell parents it's nice if you could do a check in with them like every week or every couple weeks at the most. According to the latest youth risk behavior survey in Marathon County, many kids and teens are struggling with mental health. About half of all the students in Marathon County reported either depression, anxiety, or self-harm. And when it comes to suicide, the data is striking. If you think about an average Marathon County classroom size of 20 students, of those 20 students, the data is telling us that one or two of those students in that classroom has attempted to kill themselves. She says those numbers are similar when it comes to the statewide data. But how do you even start the conversation with your kids? Try asking these questions. How are things going with your friends? How are you feeling? Is there anything bothering you that you want to talk about? And if you're concerned your kid may be having suicidal thoughts. A lot of times people kind of want to beat around the bush. And I always tell people, that don't beat around the bush. Come right out and say it. Are you feeling so sad that you wish you were dead? Even though those questions may be tough to ask, it opens a door for your kid to express any concerns they have or challenges they're facing. Those check-ins are what's vital. You have to keep that, that line of communication open and keep the door open and make sure your child knows, honey, if there's anything that's bothering you, you know that you can always come and talk to me. Especially in these uncertain times, a little extra support can go a long way. And for additional mental health resources, you can call 211 or head to the United Way's website. You can also find the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at the bottom of your screen. Back to you.